Let's get popping. Today's tutorial is on how to create a page for your Shopify website. And you know how we do it here. We always make it easy. So you've already got your Shopify website open or either your app. For demonstration purposes, I am on a desktop today. And everything that I refer to, you guys already know, is pertaining to my industry. So all of my products are in, uh, pertaining to my industry, which is jewelry. So if you want to follow along, it doesn't matter what product you have, um, the process is the same. So that being said, let's go over here to the left of our page. Or if you're on a mobile device, it will look a little different. But if you go to your page, you'll see home, orders, products, customers, and all of the great stuff that's there. Now, what I do want to say, whenever you're working on your online store or things that will show on your website, those items are always found here on the online store. Once you click online store, it'll open up another page. It'll give you more options. And one of these options, we're going to stay in the menu to the left where we have things, and that's what's showing right now. When you're in things, and we will do uh, another video on that, you're able to customize your web page by pre pressing this button. This is how you can change the font, the colors. You can change the themes and the, the um, somewhat of the navigation of your home page. So you can find that there in things. But for right now, we're going to go to pages. So you'll click on pages. It'll open up a new window where you'll be able to create or add a page. If you're on a mobile or device, then you'll see a plus sign. As you can see here, I have created other pages. We are going to create a contact us page for demonstrations. And just to give you an idea, um, well, to actually show you how to create that page and to duplicate the process. So you're on the pages on your online store. And we're going to go all the way over here to the right on Add Page. Once you click Add Page, another window will open up. As you see on the left, our menu stays the same because we're only in Pages. So now you have Pages, you're adding a page. Now Google requires that you must have a Contact Us page. You must have uh, legal pages, which are refund and return policies, uh, terms of service, and um, you don't have to have shipping. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and do a contact us page. For me, this will be a contact us one just for demonstration. Okay, demonstration. Okay, so we're gonna type in the title of our page, and it doesn't matter, you can name these pages whatever you like, but you need a contact us page and you can create others as you go. The process is, is exactly the same. Now, as you see, the next box we have are, is our description or our uh, content box. Now, this box, as it always is, it has formatting, bold, italic, underline over here. It also has bulleted lists, numbered lists. You can outdent and then you can do all kinds of great stuff up here with your content with these uh, tools that are provided. You can also insert links. Now, we're going to go ahead. Now, for Google, requires to have a phone number, an email address. If you can also add um, your personal profile with your um, address to your business, that's even better. I will say this. Also, when you're adding this contact us information page, you should also add that information to your Google My Business and also to your Bing Places. Okay? So, we're going to go ahead and add our telephone number and our email address. As you can see, I have my telephone number listed here plainly for everyone to see and below it I can be contacted via email. Now as you scroll down, you see here the contact us page. It has my web page address where you can find this contact information. And it also has the contact information with my phone number and my email address. Now, Shopify does allow you, as you can see here, that you can edit the website SEO. Um, I suggest that you get some type of SEO manager for your site. I would not um, fool with that too much if you don't know what you're doing. Over here on the top right, we can make this visible as of now if we wanted to, 
or we can keep this hidden until we maybe decide there's some more information that we would like to do to put on that page. We also have the ability to set a specific publish date. So if we wanted to publish, say, next week, we would just go ahead and hit on the calendar. I'm sorry, hit on the calendar and change the date to whatever we would decide and the time. Here we have Pacific time. I'm out in California. But you can select any time or date that you like. So we're going to go ahead and click visible. The template, I've never messed with this. This is something you shouldn't. There is a default. So just leave it on the page because page is what we are creating. Once you've given all that information, that's it, my dear. Let's click save. And you've created your first page. So for all of the pages that you need, just go ahead and do the same process. As you see, the contact page was created. If you need to do any other pages, it's also, also Shopify provides a great tool, Duplicate. The Duplicate tool will open up a new box. You can call it or change, of course, change the name to whatever you like. It will duplicate everything that was done on this page, and it will open up a new box with a new name of that page. Okay? That's a great item, a tool that Shopify provides, and it is available even on your products. You guys have a great day. Don't forget to go ahead and subscribe to my page so you won't miss any of this information. Talk to you later. Jewel Tone. Let's go ahead and let's get popping.